Hello there, Hazutrio here at your service. So let's take a look at Luna here. Luna has been rising in popularity again. We're seeing more and more of the Luna resurgence. Just because more and more people are playing magic damage dealers like Kyra, Lucretia. They're all kind of the big mages that can one-shot a lot of people. So we have Luna to reduce all of these magic damage dealers damage output. So like Crimson, Sage of the uh, Sage of the Trees, they're all doing magic damage and the only physical damage dealer on this team is this Werner and the troops here from Dark Elf snipers and Firebrand snipers. So I play Luna as a bow class. With Bolt Rangers, this makes her incredibly tanky. You're not going to die to these like random snipers sniping down your Flare Lunas anymore. And Bolt Rangers just take incredibly low damage overall. They're reducing damage taken by 50% plus the Luna Aura, so they're going to be taking like no magic damage at all. And then we add in the Landius Aura, you're going to take even more or I should say less damage. Plus Miracle, and you're looking at like no damage output from your opponent's team. So on my side, I have Landius, the Luna, my one damage dealer in Sherry, really. This is the main carry. Kiaris and Liana here. So I'm playing pretty defensively. Tank push, one threat in Sherry versus... No tanks, no healers, four magic damage dealers. This uh, Odious is faction buffing for Kyra and for Crimson here. Lucretia kind of forgot to bring mass attack, so she's kind of weak here. And the Werner here also doesn't really have an attack buff. So let's see what happens. My opponent does have a few assassins. They have some pretty good AoE. They have debuffs. And they have the longer legs than me. I go for this early Wind God round. Try to make something happen with this Sherry. And I position incredibly far, kind of threatening to take out a lot of units. But the last move, Odious, can just push the Sherry away. And this Sherry can't really Shadow Raid anyone anymore. I can bounce off of the Odious and then assassinate someone in the back. But that's not really a good trade for me since I only have the one good threat plus Luna versus five threats so if i trade it's not going to be advantageous for me instead just take out one life of the uh odious here heal up stun and just run back My opponent moves up, and here just playing defensive now. So the Crimson goes in with a three man AoE here, and it does have the faction buff, but the damage isn't all that impressive. Just because both Luna Aura and the Landius Aura is heavily reducing the damage taken. Landius took about 2,000 damage, Luna took no damage at all, and the uh, Sherry took a little bit of damage. The debuffs here, not really relevant, though I did get some stuff dispelled, like Luna had the faction buff and lost the magic defense buff. So Luna actually doesn't really do much damage anymore, losing that magic defense buff for the conversion and the sherry just dropped off everything after you know the moving the act against 
have nothing anymore. So this attack, a lot weaker, since the Luna lost their magic defense. Here I take a magic or a black hole here. Again, the magic damage, not doing a whole lot of damage. Took maybe a few thousand off Sherry. Luna taking, again, no damage. Landius a little bit. Only big thing here was the heal block on Liana. But again, the damage is pretty irrelevant. And just from standing with the uh, Sherry here, with the... It's not even prayer yet. But here, just standing with Sherry, just healed up all of that AoE damage. And now we add in the Miracle, AoE healing, reducing even more damage. Hmm. I think Trimzo did attack without a faction buff if he's using faction buff here. Instead, he just stole the attack buff, defense buff, and magic resist buff from when it jumped in. So, yeah, not ideal. Doesn't really accomplish that much damage without the faction buff jumping in first. Here we see Kyra using 3C and only taking off all of the boat rangers. And then the boat range is healed back up thanks to Tiaris here. So this Kyra, fully buffed, and is not really being a threat to any of my units here. So this black hole does better. The fixed damage, I think, is doing more damage than the uh, AoE itself. And when it did do that uh, AoE, it did apply the heal block on Tiaris. So Tiaris couldn't really be fully healed after this prayer here. And the only physical attacker comes in from Werner and takes off the uh, Tiaris. But immediately the Werner just goes down and now I'm not really being threatened by anything anymore here. It's just versus four magic damage dealers when I have Landius, Luna, and Angels on Sherry. So again here... The attempt to assassinate Liana. Let's look at that again. This is Dark Elves attacking on the uh, forest. So it's taking advantage of all of the archer techs. They deal 30% more damage on defensive terrain. They gain 20% more attack. Now my Liana is not at full health. So the Dark Elf Snipers does not receive an attack bonus. But just looking at all of these damage reduction effects, 15% from Miracle, the Landius Aura, the Luna Aura, the high magic defense from Templar Knights, means she just takes really barely any damage. The troops are completely tanking it, and that's all that they need to do. Now both of the Kyra attacks are spent, Kyra is not really a threat anymore, and she was supposed to be a big threat. Now let's take a look at this Luc Lucretia attack. Doing basically no damage. That was a 3C. Did not have an attack buff. Versus Landius. Miracle. Landius Aura. A Luna Aura. Plus... My Landius is on steel, so he's taking 10% reduced damage on top of that. And he does have the uh, unique weapon applied, so he's taking, I think, 15% reduced damage. So a lot of damage reduction, plus the uh, magic defense from Templar Knights, 
means this 3C only dealt what seems to be 4,700 damage, plus the 15% fixed. And my opponent sees the damage, realizes there's no way to get past the Landius, and can see it. So if you're going to tank push, Luna is going to be a pretty good consideration. Even if you're up against the big threats like Lucretia, Kyra, as long as you have decent troops, they can probably tank through it. And that's all for now, I'll see you guys next time.